The thing I struggled with growing up was a speech impediment. And it went back all the way to when I was a kid. When, when I was small and I'd be in class, it, it broke me so bad because my teacher would be saying, does anyone know the answer to this question? Please raise your hand. And I would know it, and I would be excited to share that I knew this answer, but I wouldn't be able to share it. Um, it, felt like, it felt like the words wouldn't come out. It was stuck in my throat. And growing up, I had this issue. So when I was in basketball, when I was offered the position of being starting point guard, it really broke me down uh, emotionally and psychologically knowing I want to do this, but I just can't. Because one of, the, one of the requirements of being a starting point guard is you call out the, the plays. You say, hey, we're going to be doing this play, we're going to be doing that play. When you're in the middle of the court, you say uh, blah, 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 you call out plays. And I know I wasn't able to do that. I tried multiple times in practice and I would choke up. And my coach would say, come on, Matthew, say the play, say the play. And it broke my heart because I wanted to say the play, but I just couldn't. So this took a toll on me my whole life growing up. Um, it even came to a point where I, when I got older and I was able to drive, I would go to um, a local convenience store and I would be searching for something and they would ask me if I needed help and I would just say, no, it's okay. When in reality, I did. I just, I couldn't say certain things when I was put on the spot. Um, when I went to go get fast food through the drive-thru, true story, when they would ask me, hello, thank you for coming to so-and-so, uh, may I take your order? I would want to say what I want, but I couldn't say it. It really took a toll on me. When I went with my girlfriend to go eat, instead of going through the drive-through, I would say, hey, hey, let's get off and just go order inside. For some reason, I was able to order inside, but I couldn't order through the drive-through. I had this issue growing up and it, and it really hurt me. But one day, um, I ended up coming to church and uh, I, I started learning about God and I, I started to learn about His goodness, His love. And um, for the first time in my life, I started feeling peace and I started feeling a longing and a desire to share this. But the same thing popped up in my mind. How can I share this? How could I uh, proclaim this? When I'm starting to experience this love of God, how could I share this if I have a problem sharing with people my, my feelings, my, my, my personal convictions when I'm put on the spot? My whole life I struggled with this speech impediment and I thought personally it's going to continue if I try to be some sort of speaker or promoter of Jesus. And I had this issue, I had this conflict going on. I would, I would go home and I still remember, I, I, would, I would sit on my bed crying saying, Lord, why do, I, why do you give me this desire to speak about you? Why do you give me this desire to talk about you when you know that I cannot do this? You know that I struggled with this my whole life. What are, are you toying with me? Why would you put this desire in me if you know my struggles? And I, I prayed about this and I pled with him about this. But even though I had this struggle of not being able to, to speak properly, the desire still stayed and it didn't leave. And I was asked a few, a few weeks later, would you want to preach? And to be honest, that's my first time doing public speaking and I was terrified, terrified of the thought of going up there and not being able to speak. But in faith, I said yes. And I kid you not, this kid who had a speech impediment his whole life, who wasn't able to order through a drive through who wasn't able to call out basketball plays, stood up there and preached his lungs out without failure. And it wasn't because of me, it wasn't because of my merits, it wasn't because of my skills, it was because of Christ and Christ alone. And this is a testimony that I love sharing because I know how it feels to not be able to share things you desire to want to share. I know how that feels. I've experienced it my whole life. And, and it, sometimes it still comes up. I have little moments where I have hiccups, but it never comes up when I want to share about God, ever. I preach and it doesn't happen. It comes out clear. Why? Because it's not about me, it's about Him. And the same God who took my weakness and made it my strength is the same God who wants to appeal to you. I don't know what struggles you're going through. It's possible that you have the same struggle as mine. 
you have a problem speaking, you have a problem getting things out, and that's perfectly fine. Know that the God of heaven, the God who's working in my life, is the same God who wants to work in yours. And right now I'm a living, breathing testimony of that there is power in God. There is power in the name of Jesus and it is offered to you.